the morning after. Oh my goodness. Listen, before I get started, because I'm going to get a give you a very common sense analysis here. And I just got to preface it, okay? I don't want all you Wilder fans to go crazy, to get noise, noise, noise. You, you probably will, all right? Um, but it's a very common sense analysis, and I gave some of it in my live stream of Navarrete versus Oscar Valdez. And, and listen, listen, I know, you know, talking about fanboys getting noise, I'm a Saints fan. So you guys probably going to be like, look, as you wear a Saints jersey. But listen, it's who that? Who that? Who that nation all day, every day. But I'm not silly. I didn't think last year the Saints was going to make it to the Super Bowl without a quarterback. Okay, I don't think the Saints is the best team in the NFL every year. Let me give you a common sense breakdown. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder is going to have to be careful against AJ. And that's the Black Two Sugars. Blistering right hand. I just don't like the inactivity. This is a very common sense analysis. I don't like, just like I said with uh, Spence and Crawford, the only thing I thought, you know, because I thought Spence would win the fight, but my problem was I wanted Spence versus Keith Foreman because I didn't like the inactivity. Listen, Wilder, I don't like that Wilder has only had two minutes and 50 seconds of ring time in a year and two months. By the time they fight in December, it'll be a year and two months since his last fight. And that fight only lasted two minutes and 50 seconds. And that's the black two sugars. I'm not saying that AJ's going to beat Wilder. Not saying that at all. I still got $10,000 $10, on Bomb Squad. And I know that may make AJ fans noise, noise, noise. Like, oh, okay, your fanboy walk. None of that, none of that. If you make a prediction, make a bet, people get noise, all right? But I still have Wilder. I think it, the probability of Wilder knocking out AJ is extremely high. But with that said, I don't like that Wilder didn't get a chance to get a fight in. Andy Ruiz pricing himself out. All right, that's damn near a duckaroni pizza, and that's the black two sugars. Because ah, he just did the same thing with Anthony A.J. Joshua as a replacement for Robert Hellenius. Calling out Andy Ruiz, called out A.J., and then when they spoke to him, according to Eddie Hearn, he priced himself out. Listen, and the only reason I believe what Eddie Hearn had to say because he just did that with Bomb Squad. So I'm like, okay, that's in this character right now. No hate to Andy Ruiz either. But listen, with Wilder not getting a fight with Andy Ruiz in between time, Wilder's crazy as shit. He's, a, he's, he's crazy, all right? Wilder will fight anybody, anytime, anywhere. He's just like that. So he's going to fight AJ in December, no problem. He's been wanting to knock his ass out forever. With that being said, AJ has had uh, his second fight with Derek James. One was uh, he outboxed Franklin fine added on that got better with his head movement his hand speed his approach his being defensive and offensive at the same time which that was never aj aj was always robotic where he was either defensive or offensive he was he was be, he was able to be defensive box going backwards and be offensive and and fast and counter punching aj 3.0 Second fight built off of what he did the first time with DJ. Uh, that's my DJ. And knocked out Robert Hellenius in a beautiful fashion uh, with a beautiful display. As for Wilder, I haven't seen that man. And his last fight was Robert Hellenius. All right? I haven't seen that man. It's going to be, come December, it's going to be a year and two months with only two minutes and 50 seconds of ring time. I don't like that. But what I do like is, and I'm going to say this too, and this is a common sense analysis wilder versus aj in december now is better than it would have been four years ago i said that last night more hype no more trinkets and belts and shit no but an actual better fight yes aj was one dimensional four years ago wilder will always be one dimensional but aj was one dimensional four years ago he has gotten better he has he's a better fighter than he was four years ago Making Wilder versus AJ actually a better fight. On top of that, 
neither one of them are trying to protect their O. There is no O. They both went to school with two of the best heavyweights in the world, Tyson Fury and Usyk. Both of those guys are actually better. Wilder is better here, all right? Skill-wise, not that much different, okay? But he's better here. They're both of them hitting rock bottom, climbing out of it, knowing what down feels like, what lows feels like. Now they're tougher fighters. Wilder versus AJ today is better than it actually was four years ago. Wilder had problems with Breland and shit like that. They were never really getting along, right? I, I, I remember when Breland called him out in Ring Magazine. Now everything is amicable with his, with his camp. What's gotten him? Wilder is a, in a better position now, here and here, than he was four years ago. And so, and Anthony A.J. Joshua is better skill-wise, but now better here. After being with DJ and having his two successful fights and that knockout, it shook things off. You saw him doing the DX, suck it. A.J. is, his spirit is in a better spot. I think it's a better fight now, but I would have liked Deontay Wilder to get a fight in. Let's move forward to Navarati versus Oscar Valdez. Navarati beat the hell out of Oscar Valdez last night, and he did it in a way I didn't expect. I didn't expect Navarati to box. I thought he was going to be unga bunga, step four, volume, volume puncher. No, he used a six-inch six reaching advantage, and he hit, beat him with a jab, beat him jumping in. Listen, it was so night and day that I said the fight was over the first 10 seconds. Up. Here we go. Here we go. Good jab. Navarati just jumped right out on his ass. <laughs> Look at this reach. Using this reach. He's boxing. Oh, good right hand. Navarati about to knock Oscar about his ass. <laughs> First 10 seconds, I knew the fight was over. Now, he didn't knock out Oscar Valdez, but that's because he hurt his hand. His hand was hurt the last six rounds. If his hands weren't hurt, he would have definitely at least dropped Oscar Valdez. He was on his way to knocking his ass out, but he hurt his hand. Navarati showed that he was far better than Valdez. And I want to say this, Reynoso, that thing that he's doing now, thinking that this is the key to victory for everybody has made his fighters worse. Julio Cesar Martinez, um, um, Oscar Valdez, Canelo Alvarez. That high, car, high guard, catch and shoot, walk, walk you down. He is, he's made them more one dimensional now. They're worse. Oscar Valdez was better. Um, Canelo Alvarez was better. Canelo had it all. And I'm, I'm looking at Julio Cesar Martinez. He's, he's probably my favorite fighter out of, out of all of them. He's over there looking one-dimensional. Dude, that's why I feel a little funny about Canelo versus Jamel Charlo. Canelo being one-dimensional, Jam Jamel Charlo can shoot the jab, use his athleticism, and throw some hard shots, get those hard shots in there. Listen, if you can box Canelo, that's one thing. Or Oscar Valdez. But when you can be a boxer puncher, when you can box him and hit him with solid shots, you got him. Bill. Navarati last night. Reach advantage, boxing. But has the power to get their respect and buzz him. Bro, Jamel Charlo got the only problem is Jamel Charles come on from 154 to 160. If he was naturally 168, like if he fought at 168. I'll be definitely lean towards your man. I'm just saying, my dogs want to go out. I'm just saying, they have gotten one dimensional. I'd love to know what y'all think in the comments below. Show biz the adult. Before I go, I want to say this. Um, I was looking at Terrence Crawford versus Daryl Spence while I was falling asleep. There was a sequence from Terrence Crawford that I'm, I'm not sure if Errol Spence will ever be able to beat. Okay, because. There's a sequence where he was Jack Johnson, um, damn, Charlie Burley, uh, and Joe Lewis all wrapped in one. Check it out. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he was, he dictated on the inside, got him back on the outside, dictated again on the inside. That was old school, cross-blocking, magnificent work. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. I'm out. Huh.